Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief at TheServerSide.com, and I very quickly want to show you how to run a Spring Boot application at the command line. Now, I created this application in a previous tutorial. Nothing too complicated. Basically, if you say localhost 8080 slash hello, well, it prints out hello spring world to you. Now, when I ran this, all I did was I right clicked on that spring Java file that has the at spring boot application annotation on it and selected run as a Java application. And the tool did all of the work for me. But what if we wanted to do the work ourselves? How would we do that? Well, the first step is just building your project. I'm gonna double click on build over here in the Gradle task. Now, if you've got Maven, I respect you because I love Maven. You would just do a, an MVN install or inside Eclipse, you could probably just do run as a, a Maven install or Maven package. The result is pretty much the same. In this environment, I end up getting a new folder named build that has my jar files. And if you were using Maven, you'd have that Walmart folder, sorry, not Walmart, target, a target folder. Now you can't actually see my build folder here because there's a filter that's blocking out all of the Gradle goodness. You can see them selected right there. I'll deselect them, click OK, and then boom, all of a sudden you can actually see that Gradle folder right there and the build folder more importantly it's the build folder that i'm after and you can see the jar file that was created spring app 1.0 jar that is all of the jar goodness now if i actually say hey open that in a git bash terminal i can actually open up a terminal window inside of eclipse i bet you didn't know that you could do that then if I just do a little ls command, you can see that that spring app 1.0 jar file is there. Another cool thing that you can do is say show in system explorer. And this will actually open up a system explorer file that shows you the application. Now you can see that this application is 18 megs in size. And I've only got a couple of files in there. So the reason that it's 18 megs in size is because they've actually embedded a Tomcat server inside that jar file. So if you run that jar file, if you say Java dash jar, that's how you run a jar file, spring app 1.0 jar. When I click enter here, boom, all of a sudden that jar file is going to run. And it's not just a little class file, it's gonna be a full scale, a full blown Tomcat server with my Spring Boot application deployed onto it. And you can see over here, it is now running on port 8080. So if I head over to my browser and go to localhost 8080 slash hello, boom, all of a sudden it says, hello spring world, which is what I would expect it to say because that's what it prints out over here in the code. Now, also notice if I click refresh a bunch of times, boom, 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 over here, the console output, output keeps getting printed to my terminal window. And that's because it's this console output right there. Now, that is how you do it. That is how you actually start a Spring Boot application at the terminal window. Now, just in case you weren't impressed with that completely, you know, I can actually run it right at the git bash window right inside the tool. Again, I could go java dash jar spring app dash 1.0 dot jar. And again, now I'm actually doing it not inside Eclipse. This is just inside the git bash shell. And again, everything is working out. My code is running. I go to localhost 8080. I click refresh. Everything runs. And now you can actually see the console output in the terminal window for the git bash shell rather than everything going on inside of Eclipse. So again, if you didn't believe me and you're from Missouri, well, there you go. That is me running a Spring Boot 3 application in a terminal window from the jar file, not using the IDE, not using some shortcuts, but just doing everything just the natural way by running a jar file. Now, if you found that elucidatory, if you enjoyed this tutorial, if you want to learn more about Spring, Spring Boot, Docker, Jenkins, Java, Scrum, Java programming, uh, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We've got lots of great tutorials. If you're interested in my personal antics, why don't you uh, 
Follow me on Twitter. My handle's at CameronMCNZ. And of course, I always encourage people to subscribe. Subscribe on YouTube.